This is Paul Turner, the Immigration Browser to Imperium Chambers. So I'm going to talk about breaks in continuous residence uh, and the relationship between Section 3C and Paragraph 39E. So this is very important. What amount? What are breaks in continuous residence? Well, the Court of Appeal has said in the case of Kelsey and the Secretary of State for Others uh, 2021, EWCACIV 184, that you only get one bite of the cherry. Put shortly, does paragraph 39E extend uh, leave under section 3C of the immigration rules? The answer is no. I've previously co covered what is continuous residence and that you are allowed a break in your leave and, and can still qualify for indefinite leave to remain. This is a mm, subtle but crucial issue for many people and I have seen lots and lots of clients who have faced this problem. It is vital that any application is made properly and that any review is carried out and made in pursuit of the lawful end. This is because uh, I would strongly advise that before any application and definitely any application made under paragraph 39E is made with professional help and I can help here if you come to see me. Otherwise you will be treated as an overstayer. Even if you make further applications under paragraph 39E of the immigration rules. In this case Clarifies to, to some extent uh, the, the case of Hock, but not really to the applicant's advantage. In Calci, the Court of Appeal have now ruled essentially that once you have made an application, say within 14 days under paragraph 39E, if this is refused, while a reading of paragraph 39E may seem to suggest you can make a further application, you will be refused as an overstayer. As I have mentioned earlier, I have seen a large number of clients who have all made applications um, within 28 or 14 days only to be refused as overstay. The first application is refused, they go for admin review, it's refused. Within 14 days they put in another application, it's refused. And then within 14 days another application, it's refused. And then they find themselves in a position where they've been here for 10 or 11 years but do not have leave. In short, the Court of Appeal distinguishes between applications made while you have leave and those when you, your leave has already expired. As I've mentioned, uh, paragraph 39E does not extend section 3C, which is one of the arguments that was run in hoc. So therefore, in short, if you make an in-time application, it is refused, you have 14 days subject to paragraph 39E to make a new application. If that succeeds, all well and good. However, if it is refused and you make another application or further applications or within the 14 day period, they will be refused as your leave will have ended after the first refusal. This is something which I, I cannot stress is very important as I've seen so many clients who have been advised by dodgy or, or rogue representatives to make numerous applications within 14 days and they all think their leave's going to be continued and they're all refused. Well, now we know the reason why. They simply just don't have leave. It, as I said before, it is vital to note the difference between section, say, 3C um, of the Immigration Act 1971, which extends leave, and paragraph 39E, which enables you to make one valid in-time application, which if it's approved, will extend your leave. But if it's refused and then you make another application within 14 days as per the refusal letter, it, it, it will also be refused because you will be an overstayer. In short, you have one bite of the cherry or one further attempt to get it right, it is therefore vital that you get professional advice if this applies to you or to a family member. I cannot stress this enough as I see many, many clients who come to me with what are, uh, they must have been very poorly advised because they've made numerous applications that have all been made when they don't have leave and they've all been refused because they don't have leave. Um, it sounds simple, but obviously whoever's telling them this, um, the, the poor clients seem to believe it. So. Um, you make the best application on the first available opportunity. If you get your 14 days under paragraph 39E and you qualify under 39E, then make sure that, that application is absolutely watertight to ensure that you're granted leave. Otherwise, you will become an overstayer, subject to any of the provisions due to the coronavirus pandemic, and you will have a great deal of difficulty in regularising your status. This is new home office, or this is new case law, um, uh, but it clarifies what the statute says. Um, as I said, any doubts, get in touch with me and I'll be more than happy to help you. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Um, I'm sad that the result wasn't more positive for the applicants, but there we have it. Um, one bite of the cherry, so make it a good bite. 
Um, thank you very much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this video. This is Paul Turner, the Immigration Barrister at Imperium Chambers.